I wanted to talk a little bit more about sleep today, especially as it relates to breast cancer. So we are in Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I don't think that most people realize that sleep is directly related to cancer. So um, if you snore, if your partner snores, if somebody tells you that you're not breathing at night or there's pauses in breathing, if you wake up in a panic and your heart is racing and you feel like maybe you weren't breathing, or if you wake up unrested in the morning and you're just exhausted and you don't know why, it's really important to come in to talk to somebody at least about the possibility of sleep apnea. Um, and so one of the reasons that our bodies can um, not get rid of the cancer cells that we have is if you're not getting into good, deep, restorative sleep. One of the things that can impair that is, is basically stress or re restless leg syndrome, but a big one is obstructive sleep apnea. So most people uh, avoid wanting to know whether they have obstructive sleep apnea, but one of the big reasons to see if you do have it would be to potentially avoid uh, multiple different types of cancers, including breast cancer. And the reason that sleep apnea can be directly related to um, breast cancer is that when we go to sleep at night, if our airway is obstructed, our oxygen levels are dropping. And if our oxygen levels are dropping, that is immediately stressing our body out and not allowing us in general to get into what's called slow wave sleep. And the only stage of sleep that we heal and repair in is slow wave sleep. So if your body is not getting that slow wave sleep and able to detoxify, get rid of old cells, um, and your immunity decreases, you have an exponentially higher risk of developing multiple different types of cancers, again, including breast cancer. I just wanted to show a little bit about how small the mask can be for CPAP, because most people are afraid of uh, actually putting a CPAP mask on. So this is called a nasal mask. It fits just under the nose. This headgear kind of goes over the top, but this just goes to show that a CPAP mask doesn't mean that you have to look like Darth Vader or a fighter pilot, that it can be very little just under the nose. What would be considered a full face mask would be this mask. So when people hear full face, they think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like a scuba diver. This is considered a full face mask. So it's very easy to get on and off. It's um, magnetic. So people that don't have good dexterity or their hands hurt, this is a really easy one. And this one just goes under the nose and around the mouth. 